Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, Learn Smart Coding. This is Karthik, thanks for joining with me. Today, in this video, we're going to see how to use the can deactivate God in your component routing system. And not only that, we will also see two different examples of how to properly implement can deactivate God. One is the standard way and one is the preferred way, which is recommended from the Angular style guides. Okay, without delay, come, let's get started back on my screen. This is the demo app that I'm going to explain you. So in this demo app, if I go to manage product, I can create a product or I can also edit the existing product. So these are the existing product. If I click on edit, I will be presented on a form where I can fill up, uh, you know, I can change the filled up information. And but you see, when I clicked on go back, nothing happened. It did not stop me, prevent me from navigating away from the component. Similarly, for a create product, I'm typing something you know like users is typing something and they are trying to come out it's not stopping so how do we solve this problem there's a nice way of doing this so let's go back to the code and uh, in this code if you see there are two components create component and the edit product like I mean create product and the edit product component okay so these two products components we need to implement something so we have already implemented the form all the logic what I'm going to do is there's a, a method called is form dirty that determines whether the form is touched or it has any dirty things meaning if someone has typed something it means it's dirty and it's also touched right so if any one of these two things are true we're going to use that so let's go and create an auth god under the gods called product deactivate god okay so that's the first thing that we need to do so i'm creating product deactivate god and here we will implement the can deactivate god so if I type a dash god, it will suggest me a couple of things. That's a snippet. So I choose can deactivate. You see, there's a set of commented code. Uh, don't worry about that. I'll come. That's the second good technique that I'm going to explain you. But this is the can deactivate card. So what we are going to do is we are going to name this with a proper one. So right now, uh, this one accepts the component name component, right? So here is the component that we need to use. So we are going to focus on product create, meaning create product component. So let's go back and check the name. So create product component. So for this component, we are going to implement can deactivate. So here in this uh, interface, we will use create product component. And uh, what we are going to do is we are going to implement some logic here. Okay. So uh, if you see can deactivate has three inputs. One is the component itself. So the component is nothing but the component that we are going to use it. So in this case, it's create product component. So which means from this guard, we have access to the create product component itself, right? Every public method inside the component is accessible from here. So now this makes our life easy. So if you put a condition and say component dot is form dirty, is form dirty is the method that I already show you. It's present in the create product component a class okay so once this condition is true which means if form is touched by someone we will just return a confirm one confirm is nothing but the javascript the plain javascript confirm method will prompt you some information and it will ask you okay or cancel okay means true cancel means false so basically this card expects a boolean you see it returns an absorbable of boolean or promise of boolean or a plain simple direct boolean so the confirm will return true or false. Okay, so once they choose accordingly, you know, it will return true or false. If not, we will return true always because no one has touched the form. Now we named the guard as product deactivate guard. Let's rename it to product uh, create deactivate guard because that's specific to one particular component, right? So we have done that. Let's clean up the rest of the code. So we cleaned up this. Now it's time to put this inside the routing component. So here, under the routing, you can provide the guard that we created. So can deactivate is an array of guard that will accept. So here we put product create deactivate card. We cannot copy paste this in the edit because both are different components. So we will solve the problem. Okay, back on the screen. So we are going to check how this works. Okay, so I click on create product. I typed something. Now I am trying to navigate out of this component. Okay, see. As soon as I clicked go back, it prompted me, that's a confirm dialog. So it prompted me OK or cancel. I can choose OK, then it will cancel the route. It will not cancel the route, it will take me to the correct route. 
and if I cancel it, it will cancel the route itself and it will ask me to stay there itself. So if I click on cancel, it will stay there itself. Okay, nice. Now let's say we have a lot of features where we have a lot of create and edit. I don't want to do, you know, I don't want to create separate separate uh, deactivate guard for each component, right? So there's a good recommended way of doing it. If you see what we are going to do is we are going to uh, do in a race way. So I don't want it to, um, you know, create duplicates here. So for edit product, I don't want to create another uh, deactivate card. So what we are going to do is we are going to make use of what is suggested by the interface, right? So here let's export an interface called can component deactivate, which will have a method called can deactivate. Okay. That's a method that returns anything. Now let's uncomment this. We have an interface. Okay. So we're going to make use of this. So instead of having a create component, what we are going to do is we will make this as generic. So we will rename this guard to can component deactivate guard. Okay. That's a common guard which can be applied across any component and it will just check whether it can deactivate or not. So we are going to copy paste this can component deactivate into these two components. And now, which means we should not use this uh, logic. Uh, what we can do is we can say this will return the components can deactivate method. Okay. So I'll explain you what it is. So we will return the component. If the can deactivate method is present inside this component, it will return the, the method uh, output or it will return true. So what does it mean? We are going to implement this can deactivate method into each component okay and that's it the guard is common but the can deactivate method will get duplicated into different components so here we will implement a can deactivate method which will return an observable of boolean or a direct boolean so can deactivate method can now return an observable of boolean or a direct boolean Okay, so in this method under the create product, what we are going to do is we are going to check if this form is dirty, right? The method which is already available in the component or any custom logic that you wanted to, uh, you know, implement, you can implement here based on your requirement and in the scenarios. Okay, so once this is checked, we will return a confirm dialog from here. You don't need to return a confirm here. Instead of confirm, you have nice way of uh, displaying a nice model so you can implement the model dialog and return a true or false as long as it returns a true or false that satisfies our condition okay this is just a demo so i'm returning a confirmed dialog which basically returns a true or false okay now let's fill up this information if it it's going to ask you are you sure you navigate from this page you'll lose the changes and um, if they say yes it's fine if they cancel it it will return a false if the form itself is not dirty, then we will return true. It means they didn't touch anything. So now what we can do, we can, uh, you know, rename whatever we have done here. So under the can deactivate, we will have to put a correct one called can component deactivate card. So let's copy paste this, pull up the namespace. How do you import the namespace? Control period will give you a suggestion of which one to import. We imported it. Okay, nice. Now let's go to this demo create product I clicked something see this still works I am trying to navigate away it prompted me a confirm dialog great now because we have refactored this it's so easy to copy paste this into different guard so now guard became common which is good right we don't need to implement 100 guards for 100 features one guard we, it's common and the can deactivate method has to be present inside the the component that you're trying to use make use of this feature Okay, so let's copy paste the same thing in the edit product also. Let's pull up the namespace. It's our JS operator. It's all same. It's all it's all completely same. Now let's try to edit as well and see whether it works or not. So back on the demo, the product loaded. I'm trying to edit the first one. See, I'm typing something. Now trying to navigate back. It prompted me that. Now here I don't type anything, which means the form is not dirty. It did not ask me that prompt. If I type something, try to navigate, it will prompt me that. Uh, you know, nice dialogue. That's it guys. Uh, hope you learned something new here. 
Uh, that's a nice way of doing it uh, without duplicating your code. If you like this, let me know in the comment section what you feel. And also, if you have any questions, put it in the comment and I will be happy to respond to you. Thanks for watching. If you like my video, don't forget to subscribe my channel, like it, share it, comment it, and never forget to click on the bell icon.